students, this message goes out to you. Hey, you don't know what it's like to be 32, but I know what it's like to be 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Number one mistake that I made was getting involved in a relationship. I know that your hormones are fucking you up right now. That just because you feel like you're in love at sixth grade does not necessarily mean that you are in love. Please take care of yourself before you try to take care of someone else. For those of you out there who are dealing with some bully issues, someone's talking shit, talk shit. Let them say whatever the fuck they want to say about you. I'm going to tell you this like this, alright? Nobody fucking care because it ain't just gonna be in middle school high school or elementary that's just gonna go on for the rest of your life you think i'm 32 and nobody's talking shit hell no people talk shit every single day dog rather than feeling super super emotional about it please do yourself a favor and don't let it ruin your day don't tell anybody everything you get a new friend you guys are all homies you guys are all cool yo don't tell them everything uh, one of these days one of those people that you're telling your secrets to is going to spill the beans and they're going to do it to try and hurt you and that's just facts tell anybody watch literally pause this video and go ask your sister go ask your brother go ask your mom go ask your aunt go ask somebody someone is going to say something that you told them in privacy just to hurt you boys girls stop with the partying okay you're literally 16 17 17 and 18 you guys out there partying all right it's just movies it's just fucking hollywood don't be super influenced by that shit all you have to do is go to school do your thing go home help your family join sports if you want listen that's it and then when you get older and you're on your own, you can do whatever the fuck you want to do. Next message goes out to the teachers, to the faculty. I've been to hundreds of schools around the res. These kids tell me things about you. Is everything I hear positive? Hell no. A lot of the things that I hear is actually negative. You Navajo teachers need to learn how to be respectful. Just because you are a teacher, does not give you ability to yell and talk to the students disrespectfully or there to do a job for your boss and who is your boss those kids in that classroom they are your boss your job is to teach them and guide them if it means you need to go travel off your lesson plans just for a couple of seconds to teach a lesson i suggest that you do it because at the end of the day, it's not about the pay. It's about the kids. All right? Or am I wrong? Please, teachers, don't be an asshole. I'm tired of hearing about how rude you guys are. I don't appreciate that. There are a lot of different ways that you can communicate with kids. Being disrespectful is definitely not one of them. And the truth be told, a lot of you teachers out there are assholes. And that's just facts. All you have to do is stop being an asshole. I know, I know, I know. You don't want to hear shit coming out from a guy like me because what do I know? Little do you know, I know a little more than you think I do. Let's make this happen. We're all in it together. Tomorrow is going to be a great day. Today's already a great day. We're going to have an awesome time. Please share this video so we're all reminded of our duties and our place in this life. Learn as much as you can. Teach as much as you can. Have some fun, dog. 2023, 2024. Let's get it.